The Drug Enforcement Agency is marking its annual National Red Ribbon Week, and it also hosted its National Drug Take Back today. News 11's Michelle Medeiros shares just how it works. It's National Drug Take Back Day, and the St. Louis County Police Department is teaming up with the Drug Enforcement Administration to take back any unused or unwanted prescription medications. So when's the last time you cleaned out your medicine cabinet? It's been a couple of months or so. According to the 2018 National Survey on Drug Use and Health, 9.9 .9 million Americans misuse controlled prescription drugs. Look, the opioid crisis has affected everybody across the uh, St. Louis metro. Uh, some new numbers came out just recently showing that overdose deaths have increased almost 50% year over year during the same time period. We feel that the COVID crisis has led more people into utilizing these types of drugs. The study shows that a majority of the abuse prescription drugs were from family and friends and often found in home medicine cabinets. Just think about it, we're going through a pandemic right now. People are trying to cope, uh, people are going through depression. Um, so everyone has their own way of um, dealing with things. During last year's drug take back, they collected almost 450 tons. And there are lots of other safe ways to dispose of them year round. And I do have a, a solution that you use to dissolve them so that they won't be hazardous to the environment. And if you need to keep prescription medications in your home, just make sure you store them in a safe place. Keep the things up high on the shelf. Um, then also just looking at the expiration dates um, before I even give it to them. I think that's very essential. Hide them in a spot that only you know where they are or lock them up. Uh, when you have guests come over, you want to clean out those areas, the medicine cabinets. If you missed the official take back day, that's okay. There are still several other locations that collect them year round, and they have a list of several ways you can dispose of them yourself at home at takebackday.dea.gov. In St. Louis County, Michelle Medeiros reporting.